Hey everybody, welcome back. Dev here. So I think we finally made it. I think we're finally ready to do this. We're still wearing our basic adventurer set. I didn't want to go ahead and swap over to the shroud armor because it looks like there's going to be a lot of shroud in here. Plus, this one is a little bit better defense-wise, at least physically. So once you get to this point, just grapple up here to the top of this tower because you can't walk through the main gate. Come over here. There's a door. Let's go ahead and go in there. And if I remember right, there's a chest on this side. We went over that earlier. We'll take the bandage. I didn't walk all the way around here, so I'm not sure if there's anything on the outside here. Let me check really quick. Okay, so we can scale up on this side. I guess we'll do that. So we're back here on the back corner. See, it says location is above us that we're headed to. See, multiple paths to climb here and look around. Not going to worry about looting anything just yet. Really don't want to fall down. I'm pretty sure that shroud and everything below us will kill us instantly. Let's see, what do we have inside of here? I'm scared there's going to be a, a, the dragon wyvern type boss around here somewhere. That is what the blacksmith told us. What is, like, what is going on over here? There's so many places to look. So much is going on. Another point to get up above. So if I get down, I don't know if I can get back up here. So we'll have to check this out at another time on this side. It required a key to the pike. So we can't open this back door. And jump up here. I think we can grapple our way across. So we came from back here on this side. I guess we'll circle around really quick. Another point going across. One to get us back up from the bottom. And one to pull us straight across. So many different directions we can go in. Yeah, I'm glad I started our first recording for this one. It does seem like it's going to take a minute to explore everything. So we have a chest back here on the back corner. Okay, we can jump inside from here. We can fall down. I'll have to circle around the side and check and see if there's anything important over here. From there, we can walk inside the tower. We can climb. I don't know if we should like go through the bottom, go through the top yet. I don't, I don't have a clue. Let's just go inside here and see what we can find. Some burned out stairs. Do a little double jump to get up here. Is this one going to require a key as well? Yep, we need a key. At least it stops us from getting inside. I'll take that. <laughs> See, we don't have anything good on that table right now. See, that looks like it's going to be the arena to fight in, I bet. As soon as we step in, there's something probably going to mess with us. So we'll definitely explore all the outer walls first. Because we might get lucky and find some better armor. So we have another door. We need a key to the pike. <laughs> Chest down here on this. Just a fireball spell. Nothing crazy. I don't see anything else below us that we need to look at. Again, I do go back after I've finished recording, guys. And I do check a lot of these areas to try to see if I miss anything. But if you know of anything I don't include in the video, let me know. I'd greatly appreciate that. See, so we could jump across. There looks like there is a door. Let's try that first. Can't do anything with the door. Let's go ahead and mine it out. Just maybe for people who can't grapple. Because it looks like we could mine our way to the top. There's a back door. Okay, there's a piece of lore back here, so that was worth it to an extent. Setting cell. New location, charted, one marker added. Nobles in history. That's part of that quest line, so we found another piece of that. Yep, looks like a guy was trying to take shelter here and wanted to die on sea instead of here. We also have a silver chest. Guard of the North Helmet. So we found the helmet. That's good. I think we're just missing one piece of that set now. Can I not climb on this? But See, we'll keep making our way around the outside of this ledge. I guess that's just <laughs> would have been the faster way was just to grapple up here instead of mining through the door like we did. Oh, from here, I guess we'll keep exploring, like I said, the outer ramparts until we get to where we are forced to go inside. We'll grapple across right here. Line on this ledge. Double check behind us. Make sure we didn't miss a door somewhere. Pretty sure we're cleared here for everything we can access. Let's see, this brought us to a higher ledge than what we've been on before. Also need a key here. But it, it was much good. We have another opening here and a door here. Oh, then we can actually open this one though. The path going up to the top of the tower. Broken stairs leading down to, looks like a door is down there.
go downstairs in this tower and check this out really quick. Get my torch out so we can see more mycelium. Hopefully we don't get stuck in here. The fact we can mine all this just makes life rough though, because you, you never know if you're missing something. Like right here, it looks like a flow, so I guess we'll dig in there. It seems we're wrong, so we can head back out. So we have the staircase above us. Do not want to fall in there just yet. Let's go back upstairs right here, and then we'll walk through this door, see if there's anything good in here. More stairs going down. Right, so I just see a bunch of mycelium in here, and we could tunnel through this door here. I think that's going to take us out to that arena place though. I say arena, but it's typically that's what a boss arena looks like. I'm not trying to trigger that just yet. Okay, I think we're on an upper ledge, so we might be okay right here. If I don't walk into stuff, I shouldn't be walking into. Okay, so let's see what we have out here now that I've cleared a lot of these little shroud sacks out of the way. Do we have a ledge above we can grapple to? Another door back here. Oh, so it wants us to have the key to get into this space? Weird. I assume to access it just fine without a key. Oh yeah, it looks like there's a chest above us, so we'll have to have the key to get to it. Go and grapple up here and take a look. Chest, right here. Wisp of light. I don't see anything else in this spot. It'll drop down. This is probably going to take a key too. But no, we can actually open this door. Bad game, you want tons of keys, but uh, we're already inside. <laughs> Alright, back into the broken tower. I really don't know if we should drop... You think we can get back out of here? The pickaxe is getting kind of low on durability. There's a door that re that one required a key earlier. So we're not going to drop down there just because I don't know if we, we have enough pickaxe to get back out. I don't have any bombs on me either. Let's see what's in this back corner over here. We do have another staircase leading up to the, the, another locked door, of course. Why not? I hope we have a chest right here. Then let's drop down here to the other door I was eyeballing earlier. See if there's anything we can do with this mycelium tower. Might be better just to climb it. I'm gonna be careful we don't fall off. Like that. Oh come on, don't don't bury me in the graphics, please. I guess I don't see anything inside of this tower, so I think we're good on it. Okay. Can't seem to jump and land on the ledge. Alright, so we're on the top part of this. Nothing here that I can see. We do have this one big tower left in front of us. I wonder if we can walk back to where, how we got here. Because I, again, don't want to jump out there just yet. Alright, so I ran back around to this door. Let's go ahead and go inside of here see where it takes us. So we're now in the pike. Nice little room. Tons of weapons and stuff. Just a little, little guardhouse, I suppose. Bunch of decorations on the walls. See, I don't see anything above us. Go ahead and go outside. We do have a respawn point here. That's ominous. That's what's inside of this tower. And we'll keep making our way around, checking for lore and different chests. We have a chest right here. Should just be basic loot. It's giving. We've gotten a lot of greater heal potions here, so it's probably a good thing we have some on us. Let's see, nothing up here but armaments. Another chest right here. Prayer of the Flame Scroll again. Well, unless I'm missing something, I think all we have left to do is to drop into here and see what happens. Okay guys, no time like the present. We need to go ahead and jump in here. Defeat the castle beast. Location reached. He's got to be in here. It says he's above us, but I'm pretty sure we just jump in here. It should kick off the fight. Let's go ahead and go, see what happens. All right, there is an enemy right there. The Fell Wisp of Wyvern. So we need to figure out how we're going to kill this guy. So he's got breath attacks. Let's get our bow out then. Oh, and bomb attacks. Dodge those. Oh wait, he's right on top of us. Okay, he hits really hard. Like super hard. <laughs> Pop some potions. I wonder if magic works better. Oh. Of course he summons enemies. If we can't get on top of him, we'll do some good. Has a spin attack. Stuns us. 
I'm assuming the breath attack's gonna hurt really bad. I'm not sure what he's doing now. <laughs> Can I rebuild some stamina? Breath attack does hurt. <laughs> Get some of that other potion, be safe. And he is down. Not too bad of a fight if I do say so myself. Just make sure you bring a bunch of potions with you. Makes it pretty easy. The blacksmith's request, investigate the strange letter. Let's go ahead and grab our loot. See what we get here. So we get a shroud core, the wyvern head. So I'm sure we can come back and get that again later. Bunch of runes. We have the commander's ring. 30% mana, 30 health. Not bad. And a key to the pike. Okay, let's take a look around and see what we can find laying around. And then we'll have to go back to the tower and clear all the doors that we couldn't open before. I don't see anything else outside here for us. There are a lot of skeletons laying around, so we need a lot of bones. This might be the place to come. Let's go ahead and head inside. So we do still have enemies there in the graphics. I wonder if we can jump attack and kill them. Right, maybe we'll just ignore those guys. <laughs> it's a little rough trying to do that. Let's see what we have up here. We have the throne room. We can build these ourselves now too. Or at least I've, I've seen the design on the carpenter I think it was to build one of those. Increases our comfort level. So far, I don't see anything else inside of here. I was breaking these bookshelves. There is a hidden door here. Let's check out what's inside of here. It looks like a chest. A little hidden room. Some shroud potions. We don't really need that. Another block door right there, possibly. We do have a grapple point going up. Let's go ahead and break down some more shelves and check out the rest of this room. So the graphics in here do need a little bit of polishing. A lot of stuff's in the floor itself. Let's see what we have in our back room here. Should be the door going back outside where we already circled around these towers. And it is. This should be one of the places I was scared to drop. Let's go ahead and grapple up until we can find above us. So 
We have a silver chest in this back corner. Ghostly shield inside of it. Legendary. I didn't realize we could get legendary from silver chest. Good information. Let's see, investigate the strange letter. Where is that at? So like that's just part of the masonry tools quest. And I think we're cleared here for the most part. We just need to circle around and check the towers out. I thought for sure we'd find like a legendary hidden chest somewhere in here. So we're back on the outside. We're climbing up this edge on the tower. Open this door. See if it leads us somewhere. A big room that's completely unshrouded. Another door on this side. Should just take us back out to where we've been before. Yep. Another grapple wedge. Hey, there's that chest. Okay, so that we need to get to that. So we need to go above. Where do I get above again? I don't remember. We'll come over here. Open this door. Pop the silver chest here. Forest longbow again. <laughs> I'm so tired of getting those longbows. They're not helping us at all. If I remember right, we had another door right here we needed to open. Don't think there's anything else up, up top over here, so we'll look one more time. Go inside of here, see what we can find. Some chest right here by the door. Just some bandages. We'll climb to the top. Chest at the very top of this place. Another bandage. Where's all the good loot? I did find another room by running around the top of the towers. And then you drop down this one space. I don't know if this is the only way to get in here or not. I'm sure it's not. But the door we opened is above me. The tower, we found some gears right there. So you come inside of here, then just drop down. There's a door to open. We can walk into here. And it's like a whole room. We do have one chest in here. Copper arrows. Let's go ahead and break this door down. I think it's just a bathroom. Let's go through this door. And a jail cell dungeon. I guess that was the only one in here. But that was anything worth coming in here for, so I guess we're going back to the top. I was thinking there'd be a way to get to the top of the castle, like find the king's chambers or something, but I've not found a way to get to the very top yet, if there is one. Honestly, I think this place is clear unless somebody knows of something I'm missing. So just let me know in comments if <laughs> there's some really good loot here somewhere that I missed. Because I thought for sure there'd be like a legendary chest somewhere around here. So I think the castle, the pike is cleared. We do have this one left down here. Let's set that as a waypoint and go find out what that's about. I think I saw some more lore in the top of this house right here near us. Let's jump up here really quick. Oh, maybe we can just get another one of those swords. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's just a wolf small sword. Respond again. I think this one's actually better quality than the last one, but we'll take that. And it says that point we're looking for is within like 74 meters. I think I also saw a large cave right here. I can't remember if we went inside of here or not. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't think we came over here last time. I can't remember. Yeah, I'd like to find a bed to sleep in. Oh yeah, this is the flame shrine. We've been here. And this should be the, yeah, the catacombs. Oh, we do have a legendary chest back here behind the flame shrine. We can go grab that. That's right, so we're outside the city now. Maybe this is where the guy was buried outside the oak tree. Let's grab this chest, frozen core wand. It looks like it's going to be in this corner tower. Let's go ahead and try to get to the top of it. Thought we had cleared the entire wall. I guess we missed some spots. A bunch of jumping. Got to grapple around the outside edges. Where is this way to climb to? Okay, so we have lore on top of this tower and a silver chest. Let's go kind of open that. Right, there's the Guard of the North boots, pieces of the past, find all forgotten Guard of the North armor pieces. So we have all the pieces now. So if you watch all my videos, you should see where those chests are at. Let's go ahead and open this. And we have a Siege Report, Day 3, New Lore Page, Nobles and History. Okay, with that, are we done with this area? But besides finding our way into Skimmer's Cove, we should be good to go. So the only thing we have left to do is Flame Shrine here, hit the Fisher's Tail. 
and then start making our way towards Pillars of Creation to do these other quests like finding masonry tools. First things first though, we need to head back and go ahead and upgrade our flame so we can handle more of the shroud. Now let's get in with the flame, see what we need to strengthen it one more time. We are maxed out on the upgrade altar, that should be pretty easy. Uh, right here we need goo still. I don't know, I haven't found goo. How have I not found goo yet? So actually we can't upgrade it. We, had, we have the head, but we don't have the goo. So am I missing something for goo? Okay, so I just made some bug dust that unlocked the goo at the alchemist. Make some bug dust, it takes critter parts to do so, and the mortar. That'll then give us goo. To make goo, we need bug dust, shroud liquid and dirt so we need 15 pieces of goo let's go ahead and make that so again we're gonna need bug dust made from critter parts to make the goo it's gonna take a lot so we need 14 more pieces of bug dust and then we should be able to make all the goo that we need using dirt shroud liquid and bug dust we now have Shroud Arrow plus one more at the Hunter. Like I said, making one of everything <laughs> is extremely useful in this game because it unlocks a lot of recipes. Let's see what else we need to get this flame up. We're going to need Indigo Plant times 15, Amber, and Copper Ore. Then we have all the materials that we need for that. I hate giving up our Wyvern Head for that because I'd like to be able to make a trophy if we can out of it. But let's go ahead and craft this flame. It's going to give us Shroud Passage Level 4, so we should be able to get the Pillars of Creation now. Time in the Shroud, 8 minutes. Character Attribute Bonuses, 3. Altar Activation Capacity up to 7, so let's go ahead and do so. Okay, flame level up four. And we got some skill points for that too, I believe. And is that max level? No, that is not max level. We need mint mushroom meat, fossilized bone, bark, ammonia glands, tin ore, rubius. We've got a little bit of rubius. And then we need a fell monstrosity head. So it looks like we have plenty of enemies and plenty of exploring to do. Uh, a lot of stuff left to do on the other side of the map. But with that, guys, we're going to call the episode there. As always, if you enjoyed this content, be sure to like and subscribe button. And we can also, really quick, I wanted to check out this armor. It looks pretty cool. I'm sure some people have seen it. But there's the new armor set that we just got, Guard of the North. Just remember, it reduces your shroud time by a lot. So I don't know how great it's going to be. It's also, has, its stats are a little bit lower than our other armor stats too. You can actually look at character, click on it, and it should show you what you have in your inventory that you can equip if you want to compare stats. So, Guard of the North helmet is level 13. What we're currently wearing is level 13. It's 23-15 versus 18-18. You do get a higher critical strike chance, but it reduces your shroud time. So like the armor gives us 160 health, which is huge. But we get 120 health plus more physical resistance on our other armor. So we might just keep wearing what we had on before. Even though this armor looks way better. <laughs> looks much nicer. But anyways, guys, as always, if you enjoyed that content, be sure to like and subscribe button. I'll catch you on the next one as we go and start making our way towards Pillars of Creation. Thanks for hanging out.